News 5 on Fox starts right now. Thanks for joining us for News 5 on Fox. I'm Christy Calcagno. We're expecting sunny skies tomorrow, but our Storm Track 5 team is tracking rain that's moving in. Meteorologist Ricky Matthews joins us now with what we can expect in the coming days. Ricky, well, hey, if you are looking to stay in the holiday spirit even after Christmas, the Speedway in Lights is the perfect way. The lights are up at Bristol Motor Speedway, and the popular ice rink is back open. That's right, the yearly display helps raise money for Speedway children. Children's charities. You can check out the lights every night through early January. It's $15 during the week and $20 on Friday and Saturday per car. And you can find a special coupon on our website, WCYB.com, for $2 off the entry. And a Christmas time crisis near the Texas Mexico border. More than 1,200 undocumented immigrants are expected to be released into El Paso this week with no apparent plan for housing. That's in addition to the 700 migrants already left in the border town since Sunday. Mary Maloney reports. And I'll explain why it's going to occur. All right, great. Thank you so much, Ricky. We'll check back with you in just a little bit. Now, for those who don't have a place to go for the holidays, the Emmanuel Episcopal Church hosted its yearly Christmas dinner for everyone in the Bristol community. More than 200 people arrived for dinner tonight, served by more than 30 volunteers. Kerry Haynes has helped out since the dinner started back in 1981. For him, this is his Christmas tradition. This is part of our Christmas. My family now, we celebrate Christmas early in the morning so that we can all be available to come here in the, in the afternoon. And, and you're right, there are families that this is probably their only meal today. And the church also provided a gift for each child from Santa Claus himself.